because I knew the next coach they would bring in would be a good coach. So I, you know, I just, like I said, trying to stay down, stay focused, keep my head down. What's it been like with the Coach Higgins? Is there anything nice about you guys kind of both starting here almost at the same time? Right, right, yeah. We got a lot of similarities in the story here, but it's been good. You know, he pushes everybody in the room. You know, he's making us become better men on and off the field. So. He's a great coach. How nice has it been to have Day Day here? How nice is it just as a resource, as a friend? Yeah. What's what's it like being united with him? I mean, it's it just me and the most of me just to play with my high school teammates in college. I mean, not a lot of people get that opportunity. And, uh, <laughs> you know, if I need some, he's there. If he needs some, I'm there. So, you know, we. Yeah. I was talking to your high school coach after you committed, and I said, well, why are people just opening up to Dante Smith now? What's different about you and the high school? Because you said you were, I guess, pretty skinny as a high school yeah, at that time. Yeah, I was kind of more a little on the slim side in high school. <laughs> you know, I've you know, been hitting the weight room, so I gained a little weight. So. It, was that frustrating the first time around with your recruitment? When it's like, all right, because I'm sure every, everybody always thinks that you go to a bigger school, play at a higher level. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't really a problem. I mean, I was still doing good for my for my size. I was still, you know, doing well. It wasn't really a problem, but there was, you know, teams to where you yeah. know I would have to gain a little bit more weight. Just, hey, oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Dante, I gotta ask. Uh, you have a Pittsburgh Pirates tattoo. Yeah. Obviously, you're a Pittsburgh guy. I'm a Pittsburgh guy. Um, are you a big baseball guy? Because I've seen some Steelers tattoos. I haven't seen a lot yeah. of Pirates tattoos. Yeah. So I, uh, I'm a big. I wouldn't say big so baseball guy, but I do go to baseball games. I mean, and a lot of people got like the Pirates P, so I would I just switched it up and just oh, got man. the Pirate himself. So I love it. I'm I'm a season ticket holder. I've been suffering uh, forever. Uh, it's they're not. You know, maybe one day it'll be good. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> but yeah. So talking about uh, football, um, what is the biggest improvement you think you've made of your game from last year's camp, obviously at a different school, to uh, this year? I think the biggest improvement I made is just you know just the football IQ, you know, just learning the game. I mean, that's first and foremost for anything, just learning the sport that you play. I think that's my biggest thing that I've improved on. You know, just playing faster. So you're a college football veteran, but you're new to this team. Right. How have you been able to balance uh, being a new guy here, but yet uh, you've played more football than almost anybody here? So from a leadership aspect, um, how do you kind of balance uh, those two things, being that like you're new, but you're also not? So. Right. I mean, you just balance it by, you know, just taking advice, take anything you get, you know, just learning how they do things here. That's probably most and foremost. And, you know, just keep doing the good things that you were doing before. And that's probably it. What's the best advice you've gotten so far here? Uh, I mean, just, I would say the best advice I got was just stay focused. I mean, like, stay focused. I say that. You know, you said this, this is all new for you, but what is it that, what has happened, has there been something that's been like, I made the right choice, this is where I'm at? Yeah, I, I, as soon as I got here, you know, all the players welcomed me as a brother already, so I definitely felt like that was, that was like the top, of like, yeah, like, I'm, I've made a good choice, so. What are some of the biggest expectations you guys have had, or you're hoping for this season? I mean, some big expectations, you know, obviously, you know, when, championships and all that but I'm just focusing on camp right now and just trying to take it day by day and as soon as we get to week one you know, we'll just turn it on. What would you say about the bond that you're building uh, with uh, Drew and really all the quarterbacks right now so? Yeah I would say all the quarterbacks are doing well you know we really don't I, I really can't tell who's doing the best I mean every quarterback is great I mean and we, we all rotate so we all got chemistry with each quarterback so I think that's good. What have you seen from Drew uh, specifically? I mean, he's doing good. I mean, he knows his stuff. He's, he helps other guys. So I, I, I think that's probably the most leadership thing I've seen. 